I'm Scott L. Miller, and this is my life living in my own Nicaragua. Today, we're taking the kids on a trip to Managua. We're going to be hanging out for the day. And so I decided that it would be an interesting day to take you guys along for the ride, show you some of the drive from Leon to Managua, some driving across Managua, and just talk about some of the things that we did in the city. It's going to be a little bit of a different format today. We've had a very busy week here on the show. So it was a perfect time to do something just a little bit different. And a quick reminder, Thursdays, we do a live stream where you can get on generally for many hours. We did eight and a quarter hours last week. We try not to do that much normally. Uh, you can get on and ask questions in real time, interact with other people from the channel, talk to me, whatever. It's a lot of fun. It's community building time. It's a great time to get a Q&A going. Um, and we, it's just really cool. So that's Thursday evenings. Uh, it's almost always that we managed to do it. So we're expecting to do it this week. If you would join us, that would be absolutely fantastic. And with that, we will get to our trip to Managua right after that bump. This is the new Leon Baseball Stadium on the right, and we are heading out of Leon. We're going to head into Managua. I decided I wanted to do something different with you guys today and taking you guys along on a trip across Nicaragua from Leon to Managua, the capital, to show you what it's like seemed like an awesome thing to do. This is a trip with my daughters. We went into, as we often do, go into Managua to have just a nice getaway, do restaurants and hotels and stuff and hang out and uh, just get some, some family time. So. This is the uh, outskirts of the hurricane of Tropical Storm Sarah that's been bringing us so much rain. We had to actually delay this trip because of the amount of rain and flooding that was going on. But by this day, which is Sunday that we're heading out, Monday we head back, uh, it was rainy and cloudy, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. What a great time to drive this is. It's just beautiful. Uh, and there was some rain, but it wasn't flooding, so it's perfectly good for driving. We're coming up on the Empalma Isapa, which is the place where we make a turn. Here it is. And we're, where that is, is where we make the decision between taking the old highway or the southern highway to Managua or the new one or the north route, uh, which we just took, along the lake that goes through La Paz Centro, Nagarote, and Mataare uh, before coming into Ciudad Sandino. Uh, and once both highways come into Managua, they're pretty close to each other. They're not actually that different. It's a little bit. It is worth choosing uh, depending on where you're going in the city, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. And uh, sometimes you do like to go on one and come back on the other just to get some scenery. That was La Paz Centro that we just came through. We got a little bit of open countryside here. That's the new tree of life between La Paz Centro and Nagarote. And uh, we're off towards Nagarote now. This is a beautiful part of the country. To the left, there's a lake not too far away. So we have a lot of flat farmland around here. Beautiful, beautiful, lots of volcanic soil. Absolutely fantastic. I love this area. Open fields, great trees, very lush, and not too heavy of a population, even though it's uh, the, the highway between the country's two biggest cities. It's just absolutely beautiful. And you'll notice it's pretty clean in general, too. Now, uh, we're, we're going to come through right here, Nagarote, the cleanest city in the country, quite famously, uh, named that. So that's, that's pretty extreme how clean it is. But this whole drive, yeah, every so often you'll see a little bit of litter along the road. But mostly it's much cleaner than people expect in Nicaragua was just a beautiful green lush country and seeing it in the rain gives you such a different impression than if you see it on a hot dry dusty day in the middle of the dry season it feels very different just the nature of beating sun nothing to to shade you at all uh, and everything being very dry and brown makes it feel much dirtier than it actually is uh, and so when you go and you're in the rain, it gives you a very different feel and could feel much more like you're in uh, Costa Rica, for example, which is often colder and rainier. Uh, so we're coming pretty close to Mataare here. We're, we're tw twisting through the mountains, coming up into the Managua zone itself. That is Mataare right there, small town, the first uh, village, I guess, inside the Departamento Managua. And from here, the highway gets bigger and there's more traffic. Uh, and we're basically in the outskirts of the city zone as we head in. Now, the first major population or, uh, area we're going to come into is going to be Ciudad Santino. For some people, that is Managua itself. For some, it is a suburb. It is a giant city of of its own right, but it is part of the Managua metropolitan area. It blends right into the city. There's no real way to consider it a separate place, but it is pretty cool. Traditionally, it's been a pretty poor area, but it is gentrifying in really good ways, and it's an interesting area that I like a lot. This is the brand new, and I mean weeks old, rotunda with the new Tree of Life coming into Ciudad Sandino. This is all new highway construction. So much great stuff is happening here. We're turning onto Cuesta El Plomo and heading into Ciudad Sandino for a few minutes. We're actually going to take you guys 
guys through to a gated community that we show quite often on the show. We're stopping by La Marcelita's house to drop something off as we come through. She's going to be moving in just a few weeks to Leon uh, and giving up this house. And we have shown this house and that community on the show many times. Uh, so it's kind of cool to show you exactly where it is because now it doesn't matter. as <laughs> She doesn't live there anymore by the time you see this, but <clears throat> is interesting that uh, uh, we kind of got to stop there right uh, before she moves away, it having been an important part of the show for the last three years. All right, so as we uh, head into Managua, we're coming past a bunch of hotels, getting onto the main highway, and here we just turned from the road going into Managua onto what's known as the Carretera Sur, or the Southern Highway, which is gonna go up the west side of the city. I say up, it's up the hill, but on the west side heading south, we're gonna turn left onto the Pista Suburbana, which is the outer ring road that goes around the city. Now, we ran out of battery I apologize so this is Monday we are at uh, the price mart on the Carretera Messiah they're actually outside Managua on the southeast we're on the far side of the city we just did a u-turn we're now heading into Managua as if we're coming from Granada or Messiah we're gonna be in Managua pretty quickly we're not that far outside the city we are technically outside this is a really fantastic area if you're looking at housing uh, you're looking at a place you may want to live in a little bit more expensive zone near Managua with a lot of good access to things but very safe a lot of good shopping restaurants this area which is roughly santa domingo las colinas those kinds of areas it is fantastic we're going to be on a rotunda here in just a second there with the tree this is the um galleria's uh santa domingo the big shopping area this is the piece of jean paul Jeanne, the outermost ring road in the city it is not complete only goes part way around the city we're going to pull into a furniture and home furnishing store that my kids wanted to check out that was a cool shopping thing. We're going to pull into the Eiffel Suites for a minute to get some French bakery products. We're now heading down Avenida Los Robles, just down to the Pista Sub Urbana. We're going to take a left at the, le at the light and head out of the city and back to Ciudad Sandino uh, the way that we were originally coming in. So this is the Pista Suburbana where the battery ran out heading the other direction. And we're gonna turn right at the Plaza La Fe after we go past this. This is the Plaza Natura, which is where Escape is, bowling, laser tag, arcades, really good stuff, really great place to go if you're in Managua, especially if you live here, a lot of uh, interesting stuff. And once we get to Plaza La Fe, we're gonna turn a right and go north on the Southern Highway uh, and head back out of the city to Ciudad Sandino. Love coming out to Managua with the kids. We get a lot of great family time. We do a lot of like exploring hotels and restaurants and shopping and, and activities like escape with laser tag and stuff. Uh, and it's such a different culture and change of pace and different selection of things than we get. Uh, this is Plaza La Fe here. Um, in, in Leon, um, and it's really good family time. Like we're focused family time. We're not out all doing our separate things. We, we really have focused time together. Uh, this is one of the new highways taking us on to the new Leon Highway. And once we get into Ciudad Santino, we're actually gonna turn back into uh, uh, Cuesta La Plomo uh, to go down to Plaza Calle and get some uh, seafood at a new restaurant that just opened up down there, um, Morea Alta, which we've been wanting to try out. And the kids are like, yeah, let's, let's get some food on the way out of town. Um, so we're gonna do that and show that plaza, that new restaurant, the new uh, Little Caesars that's down there. Right now we're just doing some U-turns to get back uh, that, that bus had actually hit that truck there. By the way, that's why we were stuck for a minute. Plaza Calle, very fancy area here in new upcoming Ciudad Sandino. There's the Little Caesars on both sides, a little bakery there, lots of great restaurants. There's the seafood restaurant in front of us. And we're going to head back onto the highway to head back home. Uh, so I wanted to take you guys along, show you this drive, show you some of the city, and just kind of talk about our day. Just wanted to do something totally different because why not? Uh, and... Uh, this is a really fun trip that we had to do another U-turn. There's a lot of U-turns on this particular drive. That's not that normal, but um, we just really enjoy having the change of pace. My kids and I are really city people, so we really do enjoy being in the big city. We like doing cafes and restaurants and bakeries and exploring little shops and all that kind of stuff. That's really fun. Just going to see that um, furniture and home furnishing store. We don't have anything like that in Leon, and it's just fun. I know for most of my viewers, you're like, well, those are everywhere where we're from, and yeah. But when you come to someplace like Nicaragua, we, we don't have them around every corner. You gotta uh, find specialty shops and, and going into Managua and figuring out where the right places are for things is, is part of the fun and part of the challenge. Uh, and it's a bit different for sure. Um, and, and we enjoy it. So it's been, this was a good uh, kind of weekend. It was a Sunday, Monday instead of a full weekend because of the storm. <clears throat> but we had uh, a really nice time. And we're glad that you guys were able to come along with us. 
Uh, we did, just to, to quickly recap some of the places we went, we checked out Brunchy, which is a new brunch place owned by Limoncello. We like Limoncello a lot, so we wanted to try that out. Uh, we went and tried out El Canasta, which is a f indoor food court, uh, which has Italian and, and barbecue and burgers, sushi, all kinds of things. We got sushi and Italian. The sushi especially was super good. The Italian was not too bad. We like that location. It was pretty cool. It's with the Holiday Inn on Jean-Paul Genie, just right in there. Uh, we went um, to the mall. We went to Mugs. We really are liking Mugs. That's a great cafe with a big menu. Really, really nice um, in the mall at, uh, at the Galerias. And uh, uh, not sure where, how many other places we went. We only have so much time to go uh, to lots of different restaurants, but we, we definitely like making our list ahead of time and figuring out which cool places we want to discover and try out. And uh, we're, we're building a repertoire of places we really like in Managua as a family. And we're going to keep it kind of short today, but we had a good time in Managua. It was very enjoyable. We enjoyed the food and the shopping, and it's always just nice to get out and do something a bit different, and the kids and I get a lot of time to hang out with each other, so we had a fun time. And we do this every few weeks or maybe once a month. We try to go into the city and uh, just, just enjoy getting away from our own town. It is nice, and it's so close, right? The entire drive is less than two hours, so it's really not bad uh, to head out there when we want to do something. And uh, pretty soon we're going to start... Uh, exploring new hotels and Airbnbs and stuff. I want to show you guys more regions of the city, but we do have places that we like to go. So we keep going back quite a bit because the kids, uh, you know, they hone in on stuff that's a lot of fun for them. But as we go more often, uh, it's going to be fun to expand our reach and, and find new areas of the city to explore and new restaurants and, and shopping and stuff to explore as well. So we'll be doing that anyway. Thanks so much for joining us. If you would be so kind as to like and subscribe. And of course, scroll down, ask any questions, leave any comments, say hello. Always great to have people interacting on the channel and so many new people over the last couple of weeks. Thank you so much to and welcome to all the new people. It's been really awesome having uh, so many new uh, faces joining us. It's really cool. And if you are interested in joining our channel, we do have a join button. Uh, we have a little community where you get you get private uh, chat group and it's just five dollars a month. It's really about supporting the channel, not special uh, extra benefits, but we try to do something. And if you have ideas, let us know. Uh, but we really do appreciate everyone who supports. And we also have the link to buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. It's like Patreon comes directly to me and helps pay for the cameras and software and all the things we need to be able to make the show. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Watch another video at the end that helps a lot as well. And I will see all of you tomorrow.